on guys welcome back to the channel another cell phone video because i can pump out more content on the cell phone i, I like using a nice camera and doing the edits and stuff but when you're doing it by yourself it's a little tough so uh anyways this is luke's car luke actually had a super super nice uh 6th gen camaro zl1 1le and it was modded pretty heavily i think it made like 850 or something like that on e85 super nice car but he had seen some of the cars we were doing and he wanted to go faster you know mustangs are just they're just faster what can i tell you <laughs> mod for mod you know they're just they're just better cars for drag racing so zl1 1le is a super nice car definitely probably a nicer car but more of like a track like turning oriented car he wants to go fast on a straight line mustangs are the ones that do it so he actually saw to sean's car orange uh stage two whipple car 10 rib still stock motor car and uh he's like I want exactly what he has. Um, so we pretty much did that. Stage two Whipple, obviously oil pump gears, crank sprocket. It's a 2020 Mustang, by the way. I think, yeah, 2020. So oil pump gears, crank sprocket, normal stuff, crank stud, obviously. Uh, MFP crank support, 10 rib, alternator relocation, Whipple stage 230. Started with a 3875 pulley on pump gas and then put it on E85, which is on E now and uh just put on a 3.5 grip tech pulley i want to go a little bit smaller because you guys don't know i've said this in videos before that's why i don't post much draggy stuff is like our da today is probably i'm sure like four or five thousand and it's super cold out so we just ride elevation because we're in amarillo texas people think texas i'm like oh you must have great air I'm like no we're in amarillo so anyways just to reiterate that i've i said it a thousand times so i think we go a little bit smaller pulley we did our stage true stage two coyote direct trans in here so extra clutches in the cdef drums um stock converter though um no weight loss yet still stock k member stock brakes stock bumper supports all that stuff stock no carbon no fiberglass nothing um it just has a drag pack on it so put a drag pack on it today i just put the skinnies on today and we added an AM boost gauge because you want to see how much boost it's making, especially like I said with our air. So I'll be interested to see what a 3.5 does in the air here. And then we did do an Innovate. We've been doing a lot of these actually, the Innovate Flex Fuel Sensor, just because people need to know that they're getting good quality 85 before they go do a watt pull. So at least you could look over, I'd say E78, E80, you could probably do a watt pull. Um, or, man, it's not testing very good, I better go add like you know something like one ethanol or something but we are usually pretty lucky because we do have a sunoco station here and his e85 is usually really good um we did our billet vacuum block our billet catch can kit all the kind of normal stuff that we do so it's a super super fun car whipple is definitely the way to go if you just want to get in punch it and make you know 950 thousand horsepower and not have to mess with anything uh the turbos are awesome they make more power obviously Obviously, you can pull it down a Whipple and all that good stuff, but turbos at the end of the day will make more power because you can just keep doing more boost, put bigger turbos. Um, but the problem with turbo kit, and we run into this with some customers too, is you've got to be willing to adjust the boost controller and learn the boost controller, especially doing rolls. If you, you know, if your car's not hooking very well, you got to learn how to turn it down and then, you know, when to ramp it in and stuff. And we, we help everybody with that, but it is definitely a learning curve. Um, there's really no more maintenance. I know there's always like a, a stigma around turbos like oh i gotta maintenance the car more like it's, it's the same thing you change the oil like we have customers daily drive f-150s that are twin turbo daily drive s-550s twin turbo all the time it's the same thing as driving a whipple the difference is the whipple you just get in punch it and go the turbo you might have to adjust the boost controller or or whatnot but it's still it's not hard it's just you know something you got to get used to and some people don't get used to it and some people do and they really take a hold of it and they make their own badass ramps and stuff and like I said we help people make ramps but the whipple just get in go and it makes really good power and it's you know it's more instant so um yeah we're gonna go we're pretty much finishing up the tuning right now just put the 3.5 on it had the 3.875 monster donut pulley on it so i do want to go to a smaller pulley because like i said the air here we can get away with that um oh yeah fueling obviously we did always do four fuel system uh just a dual pump on this one but we did the bigger pumps the 285s i think and then we did id 1050s on it we always do ids or fics so let's do some hits <laughs> i'd say it should rip 
pretty good. <laughs> it definitely made a lot less boost than I thought because we've done, uh, like I said, we've done Tashans, same pulley, 3.5. It does have a 20% lower also. And wow, it makes a lot less boost because of the air here. So I think I'm going to let him enjoy it on this pulley and then we're definitely going to do a smaller pulley because, like I said, the air here just kills it. Like it, I think it's like four four or five psi less than it should be at like sea level it's pretty crazy but uh this is a so i wanted to mention that I had the 20 percent lower and then this is a pp2 car so it has 355 rear so it definitely makes it jump out a little harder uh might kill it up top a little bit but at this power level it's not too bad i mean ideally you know 315 but at this power level with a whipple it's not bad at all and then uh it's just a really nice well equipped car because it is a pp2 car you know, it's got the nice Brembo's in the front. It's got, well, had active exhaust. Or no, the active exhaust still works, sorry. Still has active exhaust. We did headers, obviously. High flow cats. Um, it's got the nice uh, performance pack wing on there. So it's like a really nice spec'd out car. Obviously, it's got the oil pressure and the vac gauges. And then we added our, our power. We added a AM boost gauge and then the Innovate flex sensor gauge, which is nice. And then the mounts that we used that we had made for us, they actually see let me they don't take up the whole vent they've got in a space around it to let air flow through all right so there's luke's car weld lagunas all the way around bead lock in the back obviously and uh still got the 18 by fives which we have a few in stock to clear the front brembos at this time um but yeah stage two whipple um did the mishimoto overflow tank because it looks 1000 times better uh, but yeah, got to put the battery cover back on, but four fuel system, stage two Whipple, three, five grip tech, got our vac block there. And then we got the motion catch can underneath on this side, but yeah, came out really good. Super clean car. We actually, I don't know, maybe not a lot of people have seen this, but oh man, I don't know if you can see it. We did. So I've been stocking these for a little bit, but I haven't tried one. This is turning your... Uh, heater core lines into an AN line. So that's the AN line. And that's your heater core. So that one's always tight on the Whipples to get. So we uh, did an AN line on that. And Fat House Fab actually makes the adapters. I got a bunch in stock. So I wanted to try one out and they look super, super clean. So yeah, stage two Whipple car, stock motor, uh, our built trans in house, still stock converter. And like I said, literally full weight. Like it's got stock brakes. K member, uh, full, obviously full interior and everything, but man, super, super good looking car. PP2, man, this thing came out really good. Of course, Lund on the tune. So I just wanted to show you guys this car. Uh, I thought it was, it's a super clean car, super nice build, stage two Whipple, uh, makes really good power and it's such like the perfect, perfect little street car. Um, would you go Whipples or Twins? Whipple or Twins? I don't know. I'm just, I'm such a turbo guy. It's hard for me to switch over, but then I drive cars like these. And I'm like, man, they're just so much fun. It's instant power. You don't have to play with anything, but then you get drove around by a turbo car and you're like, ah, oh, I should add turbos, but I don't know. It's hard to say. I, if I, if in a perfect world, if I had all the money, I would have one Whipple and one twin turbo car. And, uh, I'd probably daily the, the Whipple car, just cause like I said, you can drive it around and just mash the gas. Um, yeah, because even like part throttle, they're so much fun. And part throttle turbos are fun too. When you got smaller turbos, like Lonzo's truck, the F-150, it's got precisions, but it has smaller ones and it spools pretty quick. And so the smaller turbos on the street are definitely just as fun. But man, it's hard to beat these Whipples. They're fun. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Check us out, CoyoteDirect.com. Obviously, we're a dealer for anything and everything, even if you don't have a Mustang or F-150. Um, trying to work on a site because when, like I've said this before, if you're a dealer for Whipple, I can get Whipples for any cars. So, uh, and that goes for all parts. So if you guys need anything, hit us up sales at coyotedirect.com or if you have a Mustang or an F-150, you can just go straight to the website, coyotedirect.com. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys think below of Luke's stage two Whipple car. We'll see you guys on the next one.